I bet you're wondering why this guy's got his sunglasses on. Man, he must be a tool. Well, I got my sunglasses on because all this flash. That's right, today we're talking about the Sparkle Minnow. I'm Juice and this is DIY Sparkle Minnow. So the Sparkle Minnow to me is, is probably one of the most effective trout streamers, especially on a bright day. Uh, whether it's, you know, the, the smoke, the original silver, or, you know, the Sculpin, kind of the gold olive variant, whatever it is, the Sparkle Minnow gets eight, and that's why I like it. And so it's one thing to buy it commercially, but to be able to kind of make some modifications to the pattern and to get a play around with different hues and sizes of it is, is really an effective tool, and it's not a hard fly to tie. And in fact, it's so easy to tie that you can, you know, anyone can go full production with this bug, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So there are options as difficult as you want to make it or as easy as you want to make it. You can go ahead and purchase a stone foe system which has a, a nice little table that goes beneath your vise. You spin it, boom, makes a dubbing brush about that long, great, which is kind of the standard, you know, EP brush length. Or something I've done is on my little tying station, I have added a little eye ring and then I'll place a cutting board on here and I'll stretch my wire the length of my tying station and spin it with an electric drill and I'll make brushes that are you know about three feet long and that to me makes sense because I'm if I'm gonna sit down and tie some flies I might tie you know two or three dozen of the same pattern before I move on and so one way I like to do it is I always cut the bottoms of my dubbing bags with scissors. And what that affords me the ability to do is as I get going here I'll lay it across the length of my wire. We'll just say that's our wire there. Get that out of here. And if I've got kind of a tinsely style ice dub like the silver, the gold, the red, uh, you know that that dark gray, you know the, the holographic silver, they're all kind of tinsely like that and they get everywhere you know, they're kind of unruly, like you're trying to lay that down on your brush, and it's stuck to my fingers, and what a mess, I'm just going to go buy them, right? Wrong. So the way to do it is, actually, I like to start with a scrim, and this is from, you know, kind of a Jerry French uh, concept with how he does his complex loops, and I'll pull and I'll cut little pieces of, a, of, a, of an ice dub that's maybe a little bit more... Uh, crinkly, something that's going to kind of hold on to those tinsel fibers and keep them in the brush. And the nice part about the crinkly ice dubs, uh, this happens to be UV gray to kind of match our silver, is that they spin tight to the wire. So you get still get that great, you know, flowing tinseled effect, and it just gets spun tight into the wire. Marvelous. So what I'll do is I'll pull those out of the corner. And I'm just going to cut those to length, and if you can't quite get it started, you can just dip your scissors in there, pull, and out it comes. And you can literally trim that to length. So if I want about a half inch, I cut about a half inch, I'll cut off that top. And then what do I have? I have a really nice half inch piece of ice dub that's super easy to work with. And I'll literally lay that down on my wire and kind of spread that as my base layer. Senyo's works incredibly well for this as far as just holding materials in these loops. Senyo's is phenomenal. And so then once I've got that, I'll come through and I'll cut my silver to length. And what also works really nice too if you're, oh, I'm wanting kind of that flowy bug like this, you know, where I've got that nice tinseled body where it's, you know, just that smooth material, but I've run out of colors of ice dab, consider angel hair. You pull the angel hair, you cut it to length, you get the exact effect, and there's a million colors of it. So we'll literally just pull ice dab here, and I'm just kind of pulling it in my fingers and getting it all the length. And you can manipulate this as much as you want in your hands, but then we're just going to kind of use our fingers and do this dainty little roll with it just to kind of get it into a position where it's really make a loop, cut it, 
And the key is, is to just always be using the big parts of your hand, you know, where you're not going to lose much material, you know, flat, like think using your fingers as chip clips. And then you'll just lay that on there, obviously, and spread it out to the desired length. You know, there I left it natural. You'll spin that up. You'll palmer it forward, and there's your sparkle now. That easy.